Hey, this is Alex Kasinik, and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to render in wireframe. So, the first thing I actually want to do is delete the default cube, because I actually want to work with a mesh with a little bit more geometry. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just press delete or X to delete the cube. And once we have that deleted, I'm going to add a monkey. So, you can press shift A to add an object and then go to mesh and down the second last one is monkey so it kinda just gives us a good model to work with so kind of like a test model you can practice on so what I'm gonna do is actually um, first I'm gonna actually add a material to this so it looks a little bit better um, so we have the default material, I think it added, or no, we don't even have any material on this. So what we want to do is actually go to the material panel, which is this uh, little icon over here. And we can add a new material by pressing new. And what it sets us with is the default gray with uh, medium specularity and all of this, but um, I like to change it to a little bit of a darker gray and so about in the middle and then um, I'll put the specularity down quite a bit so around 100 specularity or 0.100 um, and the hardness uh, I could go down to about 20 hardness so that seems pretty much good and um, what I want to do for the wireframe is uh, to create the actual wireframe around this. Um, we want to actually duplicate the monkey and then add a wire material to the other duplicate. So to do this we just press shift D to duplicate the mesh or monkey and we can snap it back by just pressing right click on the mouse button and it snaps it right back to the other place and to give it a new material because we actually have it selected right now but um, we can just go up to the top here and we want to press the little 2 because it's actually a dupl duplicate material of the first monkey but we don't want to have that so you can press the 2 so it makes it a single user and what we can do now is change the color we want it to be pure black so we can drag it all the way down to the black and set the diffuse color to uh, the intensity all the way and we don't want any specularity so drag it down to zero and we could also just do shadeless because um, it'll look pretty much the same because we don't even have any shading so you can just check shadeless if you want and one the most important thing is we want to check wire so wire it's right at the top here so that'll give it its actual wire mesh kind of look so I'm gonna set the camera in a little bit of a better position. So I'm actually gonna track it around this. Just so I can demonstrate the actual final rendered image. And I don't think we need too good of a lighting setup here. I'll just put the light a little bit closer. And um, I'll try rendering this. So you can press F12 or go to render image. And you can see, you can actually see the wire coming through. But um, there's parts of the mesh where it's kind of like interlapping with it and it looks kind of messy. So what we can actually do is um, select the black monkey, which it's going to be kind of hard because they're right on top of each other. But uh, just keep right clicking until you select it and then you can go to tab to go into edit mode and you can use uh, alt s for the shrink and fatten tool to um, size it up just a little bit but you don't want to size it up too much or else it looks like it's like way too big but you can press alt s and then shift to get a more precise movement so you can slowly ease up the size so we want it just so it's a little bit bigger than the other one. I think that'll be okay. Let's just render this. Now there's still some parts that are overlapping, so just go until it looks right. 
And another point is um, when you're actually shrinking and fattening it, when you press Alt S, don't have it too close to the manipulator or the center point right here. You can have it further away, so then you have uh, a little bit more space to drag. Like for example, if I press it right here, I'm not gonna have too good of a uh, precise of a movement actually. So if you do it from back here, you kind of have a better handle on it. Okay, so that looks okay. And again, it kind of looks bad with the shadows and everything, but that's due to the lighting. So that's kind of how to do a wireframe. And um, there's other methods out there, but I find this is the fastest and easiest way.